What's up, people? Welcome to this episode of the By the Hood podcast or webcast because I don't know how you're consuming this content. I'm your host as always. My name is Jimmy. And as we start off every show, that's with gratitude, saying thank you to everyone that supports anything we do. Specific shout out to our students at By the Hood University. Um, options course. We got an options course now, an analysis course, an intro to the stock market. We got a cryptocurrency course. So we're just building out the By the Hood University to make sure people understand all the different asset classes. Um, we have a real estate valuations course coming soon. And we have you know plenty of other courses that are in the works. We want to give a special shout out to those folks. Um, anyone that shared our video, um, liked our Facebook page, our IG page, whatever, we just want to say thank you. We appreciate all the support. As always, I got my partner in crime, Corey, with me. Corey, what's going on, brother? Man, I'm living La Vida Luca, man. Every day above ground is a good day. Yes, sir. How, how's the Midwest treating you, man? Everything good out there? Uh, it's well, that's down I, south. That's not really Midwest. Well, yeah, I guess about that's, the like, that's not Midwest. I'm Texas, dog. Yeah, I'm not. Yes, I'm I'm not I forgot. You, I forgot. You, you get around, man. You all over the world, man. The earth is I, your I, turf. It is. I, I, you know, I do a little globe trotting. But, but right, you know, but right now, right not, now, you in the middle right of the now, country. I'm, down yeah, south. Well, yeah, I'm, the, I'm in the southwestern part of the country. Yeah. But, yes, sir. Uh, but um, yeah, no, nah, man, it's, it's good down here, man. You know, people is pe- people be people in Rich people, poor people, same, same people, no, people, people do people things. Got you, man. Got you. Listen, and um, anyone who uh, has watched our show or listened to our podcast, you know our show is not really about us. It's about highlighting people that are doing amazing work in the community, whether that's building a business, whether that's helping to inspire and educate the youth, whatever it may be, we like to highlight them. Um, and this is no no different than any other show. We have an amazing guest coming on. Um, we have a brother who's out of Augusta, Georgia, who's doing amazing things in the real estate investment space, man. We got brother Roderick Tobert in the building. What's up, bro? How are you? What's up, bro? Appreciate it, man. Thank you for having me. Yeah, man. You know, you see his IG right there. One savage investor, man. You know, um, we got the above average savage, which is a, a Corey's IG and Twitter name. And now we got the savage investor. So, um, you know, I'm in the building with a bunch of savage folks. But uh, <laughs> Roderick, man, hey. <laughs> how you feeling, man? What's going on? I'm good, man. Um, just happy to be alive, man. Just working hard every day. That's about I it. know that's right. I know that's right, man. Listen, um, let's just start off, man. Tell us about your background. Are you are you originally from Augusta, Georgia? Where are you from, and you know how how was your upbringing? Uh yeah, man. So I'm I'm from Augusta, Georgia. I grew up here my whole life. Um, uh, I was born in you know the downtown area. Everybody from here, you know, uh, is known as the bottom. So I, you know, Project Baby. Um, I grew up a uh, pretty uh, rugged, um, a lot of hard times, but you know, you know, it, it don't it don't break you, it make you. Right. I heard that. I heard that. Um, well, let me ask you a question. Uh, you know, because you are a real estate investor, um, was that something that was in your family? You said you grew up pretty rough. So how did you go from you know growing up as a project baby to the point where? You know, you're now involved in the investment space. Like, was it someone that showed you, or what happened in, in the course of your life? Nah, see, that was pretty much like. Um, so, uh, my dad died when I was uh, eight years old, right? So, um, prior to that, he was the um, candy man in the neighborhood. So he ran the bootleg spot. So early on, um, I guess I, I I ran the store a little bit before he passed away, and you know, helped him out. So being a hustler always, you know, being in my spirit. And as I got older, um, same thing. It just stuck with me. And then, you know, I was working the nine to five. And then from there, it was like, I don't want to be a worker my whole life. So, you know, got to change up, do something different. And um, uh, my cousin, Kurt, uh, I was talking to him about uh, some investing stuff and, you know, doing something different. And so I ain't got to work forever. And, it just so happened real estate was just one of the things that just wasn't natural for me and I can be creative with it. So, you know, I, I just, it just worked out for me like that. Was, uh, was Kurt in it? Your cousin Kurt, was he in the real estate? Nah, I mean, well, he, he eventually got into real estate, but he wasn't then. So he was more into like, when we was talking, this was, this was probably like two years ago. Um, I was 24 then. And it was it was basically like um he was more into stocks and you know um 
the four hundred one ks and you know setting mm-hmm. up so so you don't uh you know just getting in position. Okay, so he had a little bit of knowledge. Um, so what was it about real estate that drew you to real estate? Like, was it someone that was doing it, or what did you see about real estate? And you said, you know what, this is the uh, the route that I want to follow. All right. So after that, my cousin, um, same cousin Kurt, he put me on some um uh, podcast, and I started listening to uh, Todd Todd mm-hmm. Capital, and I listen to that every day. Like, eat, you know that that. That was my thing every single day, you know, all day. And um, from listening to that, I just applied some of the stuff that I was hearing on there and I was learning on there to my to my life and, you know, what I can do in my situation. You know, not just taking everything I heard, but taking bits and pieces of it and applying it to what I had going on. And then real estate was just one of the things like, I don't know, man, I just I just love it. I heard you know what I mean, like that's it's my passion now. So that's. I just fell in love with it. I heard that. First off, let's let's give a shout out to cousin Kurt because cousin Kurt, you know, got you right. Yeah, um, shout out Kurt, man. And also yeah. a shout out, shout out to Todd, man, for putting that kind of content out for there. Sure. Um, for sure, and, for, and for those listening, man, I'm on episode 54. By the way, go check that episode out. <laughs> I'll put that out there. But shout out to Todd though, because um, the one thing about your story thus far is the fact that in 2020, um, the kind of information that you consume can determine your future or what you got going on or what you're doing right you can put on music all day long or you could do what you did and listen to podcasts and that literally changed your life right you know what i'm saying because um there's a lot of people who are in the business who don't mind giving out the game and the information but it's about like whether you want to take uh, take action because it's not just about listening to podcasts there's people that listen to podcasts all day long and never do anything you know what i'm saying but you took action man so tell us about um the action you took you got inspired by the podcast, um, probably episode 54. But what action did you take? Uh, you know what I'm saying? What action did you take to um, start acquiring property? All right. So so first it was, um, for, for me, it's always about preparation. And I, I, I'm still the same way to this day. Um, so, you know, listen to the podcast. I was learning, learning, learning. So when, you know, the opportunity came, that's what it was. It was an opportunity. I I ain't shy away from it. You know, I already knew what was going on. Um, you know, it, it, it was a little different because I, I knew I was going to take on uh, more responsibility, you know. But mm-hmm. uh, other than that, you know, I, I knew what to do. I, I knew enough to get started, put it like that. Yeah. And so um, I took I took that, um, that first opportunity and uh, we closed on that property and then I uh, a week later, we closed on two more. So I had three um, three houses in the same month um, when I was 24 Man. years old, right before I turned 25. That's dope. Let me ask you this question, right? Once you went through with a deal and then you closed another deal, how did that change your life in terms of not, not having the property, but just, just your perspective and understanding like, yo, I can do this. Did that, like, what did that do for your confidence? Man, it turned me up. Um, <laughs> it did, but but it it was more so one of the things like you gotta grow up, you know. It it was um separate myself from you know I had already distanced myself and separated myself from the people I was around on a daily to you know being around more people that was trying to do something different because like one of the things that I was facing then was like. Um, like I said, I, I don't have nobody I can necessarily call if I need, you know, a thousand dollars right now or something goes south, you know, I don't really have that for real. So, um, what was next was making the people around me, um, you know, accessible and, you know, me being an asset to them and making them assets to me, the ones who are still around. So, um, so that's how I pretty much try to position myself so I, I won't fall. You know, oh, I won't fail. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's, that's yeah, yeah. Because what's going to happen is, as you change your life and you start to move towards certain things, then um, you know, th- those relationships will change by themselves. You don't even have to go out of the way to do it. It's going to happen, right? Right. right? right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Because you, because you figure out what you want and you start going after it, then you're going to start surrounding yourself with different people. Um, what's interesting about that is, uh, we have these conversations about the people you're around. 
But, you know, one of the things I recognize over the last couple of years is not just offline. That's online, too. Right. And just like you oh, talked yeah. about the podcast, man, when you start to have conversations with people online, if, if, if everybody you follow that follows you on Twitter, IG, whatever, are talking a, bun- a bunch of nonsense, then more than likely you can talk about your nonsense, too. But right. there are people who, who can motivate you. Like I see posts and, you know, I don't get jealous of anything. I get motivated. I get motivated. So I make sure that within my circle, I mean, let's keep it real. Like I like the ratchetness, too. I keep a little bit of that on the timeline. But, you know, what I'm saying you got to <laughs> you got to even it out. You know what I mean? Um, so that's interesting, man. So you, you got those three properties um, and you didn't stop there from my understanding. My understanding is you copped a couple more. Yeah. Um, so basically from there, it was like, like I said, uh, real estate me is like, it's dope because I can be creative. Like, and, and I love it because I, I know the business and I don't want to stop. So it's just constantly in my mind trying to figure out ways so I can keep going. I don't want to stop. And so from there, um, after we bought those properties, uh, we lived in one of them for um, probably about three months. After those three months, my wife, she was in, uh, she my wife, now she was my girlfriend then, but she was in Mexico and I worked the whole deal for her while she was in Mexico. She came home and she had a duplex. You know what I mean? She had never, she had never seen it, never been in it or nothing, but she just trusted me enough. You know what I mean? Cause she, on the on the same page I am and she she a real rider so and it worked out and that's probably like one of the best things we did that year too. I got a couple questions for you based upon that. Um mm-hmm. the first question I would ask is this, right? Um so I understand you listen to the podcast and all that, but it had to have been someone along the way that get like how do you understand how to do those creative deals? Like is it a title company or a real estate agent or someone giving you the like who gives you the plays to help you put it down? Like you just come out of the blue with it, like myself. Like I'm, I'm hungry, man. I'm self motivated. <laughs> like, I, I, I get credit where it's due all the time, but you know what I mean. Like this is all me. Like real estate, I ain't know. I never had a somebody just like, hey, um, just be good, do this. You know, I'm the real estate guy. You know what I mean now. So, got you. You know, I I read that's. You know what I mean? I, I take stuff from people. You know what I mean? I read and I just think. And another thing that I did was like when I be going through the process of, you know, buying homes and stuff like that, you know, I meet new people and, you mm-hmm. know, me sitting down with them, you know, I'm learning the process. And uh, like I got friends that's now that's uh, are, are lenders. So now I learn little small stuff. OK, so yeah. you built your network up. Yeah. No, not not at that point. Not at that point. At but that point, as you move along, but as you move along, I guess every right. time you close a deal, you're gonna meet someone. You just like you know, right, you build right, your right, network. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now the next question I have, based upon what you said, is that um, you talked about like your wife being a rider and understanding like you know what you're trying to do. How important is that in your process to have someone who's on the same page with you, right? Because you're a young guy, and you're ambitious, yeah. and you know. It's, it's hard to be ambitious when you don't have someone on the same page, man. So how important is she to what you've got going on? So uh, my wife, man, she she been there from since since I was broke, broke. And I mean, broke to the point where I was overdrafting her account. And um, like probably about two weeks ago, she pulled up some messages, you know, when she was kind of getting on me about her account because it was an overdraft. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, you know. Ooh, the woo. You know, I got you. Like, don't worry about it. This was like five, this was six years ago. And she wasn't even my girlfriend then. She was just, she was just around. So, from, <laughs> going from, like, bro, like, so going from that to where we are now, it's crazy. But she always been there and she always rode. So I know what she's going to bring to the table. And like, I wouldn't be where I'm at without her and i always talk about on all this all the podcasts or to anybody no else. that's important man yeah no, man. that's 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 love man that's she, dope she that's dope secret weapon man i'm telling you like, like <laughs> your secret, <laughs> your secret <laughs> weapon huh oh, yeah. <laughs> i heard that that's dope man that's dope so now now that you acquire these properties um you know i guess your objective is it a long-term buy and hold yeah man but um like like now so Basically, what I'm doing now, um, this month, uh, well, 
probably like two months ago. Basically, what what now I had to literally buy a house to flip a house. So um, we did a um, live in flip to where we was, and so uh, while we was living there, we had to find somewhere to go, and um, we was going to rent a house so we can flip it. But it turned out we we ended up being able to buy one. So we bought another house, moved out of that one. We put that one on the market. And um, it was under contract in two days. And that was like last week. So um, last Saturday, it went under contract. Okay. Let me ask you this question, right? So you're from Augusta, Georgia, um, born and raised. And that's where is that where you primarily do all your investing in your yeah, area? Primarily, yeah. Okay. And I, I, now the next question is this. That must give you an advantage because you have to understand. If you're born and raised in that area, you probably know it better than most, right? Right, right, right. So I guess that gives you some sort of advantage in terms of knowing the pricing and things of that nature, right? Yeah, it, it do. And uh, not only that, understanding like what's what's going on in the city, like where the money where the money at, and where the money's going, and what's to come in the next five years. You know what I'm saying? Like understanding that and understanding where people want to live and where they don't want to live and you know uh you know just dissecting all the information and breaking it down to a science and that's how we was able to make that flip like like we just did yeah man so your, your story is, is is rather inspiring man you know to come from where you come from and to now have acquired Appreciate the amount it. of properties and now you're doing flips now you're doing flips and um so what, what's the long-term goal though? So what's your long-term goal in this real estate game? Do you want to stay strictly in real estate? Like, or, or do you have different goals within real estate? Are you trying to get into other things? What's your goals? Nah, um, like to be honest, I don't, I don't, I can't really tell you what it'd be like for maybe five years from now, but I know what's going on now and what's going on now is, uh, after, after, cause I still work in nine to five. So, after Christmas, I ain't going back. So I want to strictly do, chase my dreams and um, pretty much make everybody around me better and and grow everybody else's wealth and mine as well. So that's that's what I plan on doing. And since I've been in real estate and doing everything that I've been doing, I've been able to come up with other businesses within that. So it's like, it's like, um, I don't know. I don't know nothing else to do. So it's it's, it's kind of it worked itself out almost. So now, like since since I've been doing my own, I I re renovated my 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 house myself. So and um I do everything from A to Z. So basically, it's like now I have um basically doing home improvements and now um, are you subbing jobs out or are you physically doing the work yourself? No, we did everything ourselves. Like, oh man, my man laying hands on the cribs. Yeah, he laying, he, well, he laying God's hands on them. Every time. <laughs> well, do you have any training in that, or that's that's something you picked up through going through the business? Just going through it because, I, like, since I'm a landlord too, so I can't be calling another man to come do every single thing. So it's like I'm gonna figure it out. And what I don't know, I you know, I'm man enough to reach out to somebody for help. But while they helping me, I'm gonna learn it. You know what I mean? I ain't just gonna keep calling you. To come do the same thing, you know what I mean? So you, uh, you, you call you, them out you, there you, once. Yeah, you they only, they they only get one call. Uh, again. <laughs> one call. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Interesting, man. But you know what's funny though? It, it just 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 being honest with you, though, as you grow, you're gonna want to get out of that, right? Because the thing oh, about yeah. building your business out and scaling it is about time. So. Right. You're going to get to the point where your time is going to be better spent somewhere else to have somebody else come in and do that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but it's good. That, it's know. good that you know every single aspect because nobody will ever get over on you about right. nothing. Exactly. And, so that, and, that's good and, too. That is good too. That's excellent. No. That can't do it. I, I can still go and do it. I can handle that. Let me ask you this question though. So you've kept your you kept your nine to five as you start to build out your um you know your your your, your real estate wealth. Has your nine to five helped you because? I know how it is when you have a nine to five and you apply to get certain loans. It helps. Yeah. So, so are so, you prepared? Are you prepared for that? The next step when you get rid of the job and now you don't have that, you know, to use in terms of uh, leveraging to get uh loans. Yeah. So, so basically I, I've been setting myself up the whole time. Um, I pay my taxes on my, my, on my real estate. I've been doing that since day one. So every year I've been filing my taxes. 
Um, so and I, I got a real business and it's legitimized. And so second, um, uh, I just got my certs online to become a home inspector. So I'm I saw that. I saw it on your IG, man. I saw it on your IG. Yeah, Congratulations. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So so I'm now moving into that. And um and uh so that that'll be another business that's gonna replace my nine to five. So um and then I start doing my flips and then so all my flips will be profit. So and then you know I got good people around me also and you know everything I, I ain't really worried about. I think everything will go smooth. Now you love real estate, man. Sounds like you become a full, like you know, real estate guy, man. Man, um it's a blessing. Yeah, man. That's 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 pretty dope, especially with someone your age, man. That like you know, you have something on your side which is more valuable than money. It's more valuable than your property, and that's called time, right? Yeah, man. So you keep you keep applying yourself now. You know, um, next 10, 10, 20 years, man. Who knows where you'll be at? But that's why it's inspiring. And it's, good. it's good to keep telling he your story. He ain't lying about that one savage investor. My man is in every part of everything. Like he is, he is. He's savage with it, seriously. He like, he it, really man. at it. And I got a good team, too, though, man. I got a good team. Uh, like I said... Let me ask you this, though. Yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Talk about your team, because I was going to ask you about your team and also the fact that, you know, you talked about your upbringing and where you come from. Has anybody from, you, like, you know, your past or whatever reached out to you to try to get you to help them out and get them in the game? Yeah, but... Yeah, they reach out, man, but it'd be kind of, like, different these days, because... Like I ain't moving the same. Like I ain't in the projects. Like you, you, if I do post something, I'm probably with my wife, we, you know, at the beach or with my brothers or something like that. So, or I'm posting, you know, I made this investment, this move, or bought the property or something like that. So, it, like at, at, to a certain extent, like yeah, I want to help everybody I can, but like a lot of times, people just want to know what you got going on. And being from the same place as a lot of people, um. You know, uh, pretty much is how how they would think about it is like if he doing it, I know I can do it. But they don't understand like the sacrifices and you know all the hard work and everything that comes with that. Yeah, man, that's you're in a different space in life, man. It's funny you said that. I was having a conversation with Corey before we got on about how as you grow, um, different things become cool to you, right? So mm -hmm. like for me, it's cool to hang on the beach with my wife. That's cool now. Like I don't need to be around nope. a bunch of folks. I roll, I roll out. Me and my wife just roll out. That's my squad. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, but it's, we, we want to move. Yeah, things change when you, as you get older and you start to mature. Things change. What was once cool to you no longer becomes cool, man. So what you what you talking about is growth. You're seeing growth in yourself, man. Because now you have different um different dreams, right? And that right. comes from understanding and owning things. When you start to own things, you have something to live for, right? So it's, it's, it just changes everything, man. Everything. <laughs> Ownership changes everything. Yeah, so, man. So, so I, I got I got a couple questions for you. One, um, what what kind of formal schooling did you do to learn how to do uh, some of the projects that you've done, or did you do any formal schooling at all? I know, I ain't never went to school, man. Everything is just like, but I will say this though, um, when I when I was um uh, probably around. Uh, I had went to jail when I was 20, 20. I went to jail when I was 20. And I got out like a week before I turned 21. I was only in there for like three weeks. But I lost my job and I had an apartment and um, it, it was ugly. But I took this job making less than what I was making at my old job. And, and I stuck with this job and didn't look for another job because um, where I was, it was more so hands on. So I didn't make a lot of money, but I learned a lot of stuff from being around the guy that I was around. And he, you know what I mean? He taught me a lot of stuff and uh, pretty much that's kind of how I really, you know, became uh, real handy and stuff like that. And now- well, See, there we go. We, we, finally, we finally found a person that helped you, man. There you go. Got to give him his credit too. You got, so you did have someone. A lot of people help me now. A lot of people yeah. help me, but yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. But, um, so, uh, yeah, man, that, that's 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 lovely, man. And then the, the other question I have is when you um when you're looking towards your future and you um you know you want to evaluate uh what the, what success looks like in your future, 
uh, what would see, what would a successful, you know, savage investor look like? What, what what's the success model? See, uh, pretty much like like now, um, because I'm I pretty much kind of figure out what success really is. Like I feel successful in, in this in this uh moment in this space, and the only reason why I feel that way is because everybody around me is evolving. I can help everybody around me. Everybody around me motivate me, inspire me. I got good friends and good family that's, you know, that's all for me. So um, other than other than me having my own family and um, that's the only thing I really think of, man. That, that no, 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 no. That's different. perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's you know, the only thing I say that would be different. Um, me having, you know, kids of my own. But other than that, like I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm you the success I'm model blessed. right now. No, I, yeah, hey, listen, man. I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, you know, I ain't saying that you gotta move forward to be successful. I'm asking you what success look like to you, and yeah. right now you feel oh, yeah. successful. No, yeah. I, I just want to know what the success model look like to you, and that's perfect. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's that's no, dope. It, you know what I mean? Look, and has had some some more kids and and to chill with the folks. That's 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 riding with you. That's dope. That's- I, I think it's amazing, man. Just like I said, your story is inspiring, man. Because I mean, just to what you just said about being arrested at twenty, right? Um, and I don't know your situation, and we don't have to dig too deep into it. But the fact of the matter is, like, I know for a lot of people, the difference between, the <laughs> yeah, the yeah, absolutely. That was the beginning, and you didn't, you didn't make it the end. You made it the beginning. Yeah, that's, and, that's dope. So let me ask you this, right? And I was going to ask you, like, what is the biggest hurdle that you've had to overcome in your journey? Was it being arrested at 20 or was it something else that you had to go through that was the biggest hurdle that, you know, that helped you actually to become who you are? Uh, the, my, my biggest life hurdles would probably be like my dad dying when I was eight. And then um, the, me growing up, my mom was an alcoholic. Um, so I went through a lot of shit with that. And that was like, that was the biggest hurdle I went through. And that was, you know, from being a baby all the way until I was um, probably uh, 11, 12 years old. Well, I, I won't even say that. I would say until I was adult, but um, but it was it was it was messed up though. Um, so I say that was the biggest hurdle. And going through all that stuff, pretty much like it it, it made me tough. And so now when I go through certain stuff in life, it's like, you know, money situations is cool. You know, I figured it out, um, whatever the case might be, you know what I mean? So, um, I don't really trip. Yeah. That's, that's actually interesting because it's probably made you a better investor. <laughs> yeah. right? when, you, when, you, when you go through things, it's funny. I was having a conversation with my cousin and, um, her, her daughter is in college now and I was, you know, asking about her, how she doing? And she was like, you know, she's great. The only thing is she's, she doesn't know how to deal with adversity because she's never really had to. Mm-hmm. And she was like, you know, I, I've tried to raise her in a way where she didn't really have to deal with adversity, but she's like, I think I actually, um, you know, went too far with it. And to hear you, I just thought about that as you're telling your story because you had to deal with so much adversity that now if you're trying to make a deal happen or something like that, it doesn't go your way. It's like no big deal. When some yeah. folks they break down, yeah, you know what I mean. They break down, something don't go their way, and they don't know how to act. Yeah, and that and that's a good example because um, it was it was a house when we was uh, looking for another house to buy, and so we was pretty much trying to. Um, my wife, she pretty much got a little tired of uh, moving, so pretty much she was ready, you know, to decorate and do the the white things, and uh, we bid it on the house. And I underbid it and like I lowballed them and they was like, nah. And she really wanted it. So I felt bad, man. And now I, I went to sleep. I was crushed. I didn't even sleep good that night. But um before before I really went to bed, uh, I I got back on online and I was looking some more. And then I ended up finding um pretty much another investment. And it was like, you know, five minutes away from where we was already at. And so um I had woke up when she, when she got up. I told her to go ahead and cause she's a realtor too, and so I told her to go ahead and put the uh go check it out and you know you like it put it off in, and they was they was wanting like one sixteen, and uh I told her to put one oh five. Trust me this time, cause that time needs some work, and um they they accepted they accepted the offer, and pretty much like um we got this one for one oh five, 
and not the house next door, but the house next door to it was on the market for 162. So it's okay. so much upside. And we can do the same thing we did on the last flip to this house if we wanted to, if we wanted to flip it. Man, so everything, listen, everything in life happens for a reason, man. For sure. First off, man, it's not too many people I know that get in the game and, and get five doors in their first year. So that's that's amazing. That's that's amazing. It's impressive, man. And and like I said, um, you understand the game now. Once you understand the game, it's like it's like the matrix, man. Everything opens up to you. You're like, oh. Right. I can I can create my own instead of having to go somewhere and have somebody give me uh income, I can create my own income. And it's not right. like that's very that's very powerful. That's why that's he said it. in December he done with he done with it. Like and then yeah, my he, thing is he's he created his own jobs. He said, Listen, I'm gonna do all the handiwork and I'm gonna and I'm gonna do the home inspections and yeah. beside and the flips. And so he got all of the pieces, you know. To, to create his own business and then he just said his wife a realtor so all of it coming together you know right. they, they they got the, the you know the master plan going down you know what i mean yeah right. man rod what i would tell you to do man is keep telling your story man because you're going to be an inspiration to a lot of folks man because you're a young guy and you're starting to figure things out and especially folks that come from where you come from um right. because you didn't let those things deter you man a lot of people make mistakes uh but they let it crush them and you didn't. And I think that's 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 amazing, man. So continue to tell your story, man, not only here, but everywhere, because it needs to be told, man, because you know, you're inspiration, man. But let me ask you this. Um, yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. What is your favorite um, book or something that you've read that inspired you that helped you along this way? What's your favorite book? Uh, man, I got to go with Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I knew you was gonna say that. <laughs> that. That was one of the ones I first started reading when I was, you know, getting on this investing stuff, and it, it made a lot of sense. And it changed your mindset, right? Oh yeah, a, a lot, big time. Let me ask you a question: Have you ever read the uh, Cash Flow Quadrant by Kiyosaki as well? No, I ain't read that one, but I, I, I like I skimmed through it a little bit, and I know like bits and pieces. But I, I need to get, I need to read it. Get that That's one because. Book. I, yeah, I think that's his best book. But outside outside of that, I think that will also take you to the next level in your business. Just understanding how to create systems. Um, and not not that there's anything wrong with all the work by yourself, but there's right, a difference right. between being a landlord and being the CEO of a real estate company. Um, right. and we were just talking about this uh with, with the brother Ed who was in our show. When you start to create systems where all you can do is find deals and you have people in place to do everything. That's when you can create a huge company. And I think that you're on your way already. That's why I just recommend yeah. you read that. You're already on your way. And see, that, um, that was another thing with like me wanting to be free from the nine to five because, you know, with, with my few days off and, you know, I, I got to be going like 24 seven, like I'm wearing myself out. So it was like, if I be free, now I can start, you know, all I have to do then is, you know, ride around and make sure stuff in place. I don't have to be, on site yeah. 24 I can manage. Yep. Um, you know what I mean? But yeah, you're trying to ride around and ride around and get it. I understand. I oh, totally yeah. understand, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Um, this this has been an amazing talk, man. I, I just want to tell you that you know, I appreciate everything you're doing. I appreciate you telling your story, being transparent about the arrest and all that. Cause I think all of that is important. Your whole story is important, man. Um, Core, before we get out of here, is there anything that you want to say to write of questions you have for him? Again, man, when we have the younger guests, man, I'm inspired every single time, man. Because like I said, I was I was a total douche at his age, man. I was, <laughs> I, was, I, was <laughs> ass, I was an asshole, man. And so, like, to see somebody that age that get it in the way he do, like, I'm I'm impressed, man. This like this younger generation make me feel like my generation did something right. You know what I mean? Like, because, yeah. you know, you know, you know, we, they old heads and, you know, they watched us come up and watch them do the work means we did something right. You know what I mean? Oh, they, they, they get to the bag. Oh, they get right to the bag, which is way, they, they get to it way better than I did when I was at the, well, <laughs> they get, they get to it at a different, they get to it in a different way than I got to it at that age. But they do it. And, and, and they and they totally legit and they and they in the business and they doing it like y'all y'all man I'm impressed man like every time I'm impressed man y'all yeah. really out here doing it man like I love the fact that y'all don't and then like you that energy man like 
y'all really putting that energy into the right things. Like when you want to build your family, you ain't gonna have to worry about nothing but building your family. So I yeah. love it. Man. And Enjoy I also I, I also think it's amazing and appreciate the way that um you know you talked about your wife because to me that's important, man. That says a lot about you right there. The way that you um you know um talked about her and bigged her up. Because I think what you said, and I think that was like, uh, and I hope people caught that, like, that's the secret weapon. Secret weapon. I know, I know weapon. Corey can attest to that, and, and I can attest to that, yeah. man. When you got when you got someone in your corner, man, that can help you out like that, man, sky's the limit. So the way you talk right. about her, like, impressed me as well. So uh, I appreciate you doing that. But, um, but listen, man, anything you need from us, man, you know, you know how to reach us, man. Um, you know, we're here to help you as much as we can, man. But continue to grow. Continue to do what you do. Tell your story. Um, and continue to build, man. Um, to a folks out there, make sure that you, uh, you know, hit the like button, share this video. Um, we're going to take, we're going to put all of his information within the description box so you can like see what he got going on the line. Um, got any questions for him? You can hit him up or whatever. But we want to make sure that you share this story because it's very inspiring. And it's another young brother who looks like us who's out here doing positive work, turned his life around, and now is building an amazing business. So Roderick, man, listen, I, I just want to say thank you, man. Thank you for your time. Um, you know, much success to you in the future, man. And anything you need from us, like I said, I'm gonna say it again, man. You know, you know how to you know, shoot us a message, and we right there to help you, man. Appreciate, appreciate you, though. Man, y'all some good dudes. Um, everybody watching, man. I appreciate. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you saying that. But yeah, everybody out there, man, make sure you share this video. Share it on all your socials, man. Um, and for the folks out there, as we always say, it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much you keep. Game elevates, and we'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace. Peace. Peace.